Hello everyone, I hope you all. This is Coins Kid. Just going down to Bitcoin. Bigger the coins keep creeps. So right now, Bitcoin on the 21 EMA bands and the horse wheat indicator is flipping red. Okay, so this really is a correction that we're going through right now, some kind of macro correction. Now, the last time that Bitcoin flipped red like that, it went all the way down in 2018. I remember really, really well. And then we started to reverse. And what we did, we put in a beautiful impulsive move into the mid part of 2019. Then we corrected into 2020. Now, this particular correction here, this big, big dump, in my opinion, was fueled by the corona, you know, the crisis there, the pandemic and things like that. But you can immediately see Bitcoin was in a bull market and immediately recovered, V-shaped recovery, and then went on to that big, big impulsive move there. OK, so, you know, at the moment, the fact that this is flipping red is sort of mirroring this correction that we're going through here in 2019, isn't it? So at the minute, I think we're having a correction. And obviously, we can all guess where we think that correction is going to go uh, after this beautiful move up from the bottom last year. And it is a guessing game, you know, but you will see sort of figures thrown around 10K, 15K, 12K, things like that, that, you know, indicate new lows. Obviously, anything can happen. And if we do start to really seriously break down here, you know, then we'll let the tides will change and we have to respect the data and then we'll have to, you know, forecast to the downside. But at the moment, you know, I think we're just going through a beautiful correction for Bitcoin and it's going to provide opportunity. I'm going to show you some time frames in a moment for Bitcoin where we are stacking up a bullish divergence. OK, and those are things that you definitely need to pay attention to. So the whole suite indicator is now flipping red. So again, you could just simply wait for this to flip green uh, before your re-entry on Bitcoin. This particular indicators are called uh, the whole suite indicator by Insilico and the 21 EMA zones by TR. They're both free indicators. They're amazing indicators. But again, you could just absolutely just chill, sit on the sidelines, wait for this to flip green before you re-entry for Bitcoin. Okay, so let's dive into the time frame that I'm looking at where we've got a beautiful bullish divergence that's stacking up right now for Bitcoin. So looking at Bitcoin on a three-day time frame at the moment, one thing we have to respect is we're still holding this low. Okay. But on the three-day time frame, what we are beginning to do uh, here clearly in the chart, it's not bullshit, you know, it's data, I'm relaying it to you, is we are printing the opposite of a bearish divergence, which is what we created from that high there uh, way back in April. And then this high that we put in July, you've got the bearish divergence where you've got a high high and the price action, then you've got lower highs in the RSI. Okay, so the bearish divergence has led to this drop. Uh, what we do have here building up anyway for the moment until, obviously, there's no guarantees, if we lose this low, this divergence will be invalidated. But what we do have here at the moment is a bullish divergence that's building here for uh, Bitcoin. OK, so we've got multiple candle closes above this candle close here. OK, on the three day time frame uh, for Bitcoin. But what the RSI is doing at the moment is actually printing a lower low on the three day time frame. So we do have some kind of bullish divergence that is building. Now, it doesn't absolutely guarantee that you will see a drop. Uh, sorry, the reverse, which is a pop for Bitcoin, because obviously bullish diversion is support and bearish divergence is resistance. OK, this is why you look from the top for the bearish divergence and you look from the bottom uh, for the bullish divergence because it's support and then bearish is resistance basically so you know the bearish divergence has played out will this bullish divergence play out that's the big question isn't it so for me i think there is a bit of an opportunity here obviously i'm not a dj and i won't go in with life savings but i have built a very small um, long position on bybit right now you can copy me it's entirely up to you but if i do get stopped out it is what it is i've took a little bit of a risk and again like i've always taught you, you don't win every single trade but there are reasons why why you should do trades and go against the herd mentality and I think this, this right here might potentially be one of those okay so right now I know everyone's really bearish the market sentiments really flat and boring and things like that but there is a possibility here off this bullish divergence on a three-day time frame that Bitcoin's building that we might see a little break to the upside so that I'm taking a little opportunity you know a little day trade here to make a bit of money in all this noise so what I've got right now is my stop loss again and this can all be invalidated we could see another little drop and you know get stopped out but I'm looking for the five waves down here. There's a possible truncation. I did, did go through this in yesterday's video. So this is just a valid reason right now. So my stop loss is on this June low, uh, which is 24732. And right now, just built a small long position on Bybit. If it goes against me, I get stopped out. But, you know, the bullish divergence here is a reason why I'm looking at that. There is equally another reason why I'm looking at this particular uh, break to the upside here for Bitcoin as well. Because the trend-based FIB extension, if we go from this high in April down to this low in June, I think it was, and then to this high in July, you can clearly see at the moment we've got a triple tap here on the one fib at 25477. Now, obviously, there's no guarantees, but we are building a little bit of a base with bullish divergence on the one fib. If we do drop again, I do expect these levels here to act as support. Okay, the 1272 at 23987. So, I don't necessarily envision a massive crash here for Bitcoin, but again, I've not got a crystal ball, anything can happen. But I do think we're at critical support if we do lose this low, obviously. 
obviously we're going to go down they will be my next level is the 1272 at 23987 and the 1618 at 22215 where, we're, where I will ladder some bids in for Bitcoin but there's a reason right now that we could experience some kind of pump to the upside because of the bullish divergence it really is that simple and it could indicate that the abc is actually in here for for bitcoin okay in the sense we've got this a this b and this c is completed but if not i expect one last little drop possibly down to the 1272 and at that point i will counter that five wave trade with a long opportunity again okay so i hope you enjoyed that update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned and remember nothing to say financial advice you can go long you can go short you can do it all all the links are on bybit.com and coin